Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The rights of assembly and petition were part of English common law for hundreds of years and were seen by Americans as fundamental to a constitutional democracy. Historically, these two rights have been associated with each other. People thought that the purpose of the right to assemble was to petition the government. The right of petition was recognized in the Magna Carta. In fact, the Magna Carta itself was a petition addressed to the king, demanding that he correct certain wrongs. A century before the American Revolution, a resolution of the House of Commons in 1669, along with the English Bill of Rights of 1689, guaranteed English subjects the right to petition both the House of Commons and the monarch. The American colonists considered the right to petition a basic right of Englishmen and used it often. They could not send representatives to Parliament, and so they saw the right to petition as an important means of communication with the British government. One of the colonists' frustrations in the years before the Revolution was the feeling that Parliament was ignoring their petitions. During and after the Revolution, most states protected the rights of assembly and petition, either in their state constitutions or in their state bills of rights. Today, the rights of assembly and petition have been included in all but two of the 50 state constitutions. That's all for today's podcast. Thank you to our sponsor, T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. 